It snowed and snowed and snowed, but school is finally back in session. But before all that snow, the courtwarming king and queen were crowned. We'll have more details coming up. On the broadcast, we will also have district announcements as well as a weekly sports recap. All this and more coming up on KFOY Weekly News. everyone, thank you for joining us on Comcast Channel 15 and AT&T UVerse Channel 99. I'm Amate Butte. And I'm Austin Cross, and here are the weekly news upcoming events and announcements for Fort Osage High School. It was an exciting night for the Indians, January 31st. Not only did the boys varsity and JV basketball teams come out with a victory over the Raytown Blue Jays, seniors Marissa Jarnigan and Austin Davis were crowned courtwarming queen and king. The two were announced during the halftime of the boys varsity basketball game. Congratulations, Marissa and Austin. The Missouri Association of Secondary School Principals named Dr. Jason Snodgrass Principal of the Year on February 3rd. He will receive the award at the State Association Spring Convention in Lake of the Ozarks on March 30th. Dr. Snodgrass was the Greater Kansas City, Missouri Principals Association Principal of the Year and represented the district in the MASSP Recognition Program. He will now represent Missouri in the National, so National Association of Secondary School Principals and the MetLife Principal of the Year Recognition Program. Congratulations, Dr. Snodgrass. Students certainly enjoyed the unexpected time off from school due to inclement weather last week. But after all the snow was clear, we have a new last day of school, May 29th. A full school year is 174 days according to Missouri Department of Elementary and Secondary Education. Schools generally have to make up all days missed due to inclement weather up to 10 days. So far, we have only missed five. Should we miss another day of school due to weather, our last day would may move to May 30th. If we miss more days than one, spring break days will be used to make them up, so let's hope for clear weather. The school's choir shined on February 8th as they honored our country by singing the national anthem prior to the Mavericks hockey game. 37 students took the ice and sang loud and proud and represented the school well. Nice job, Indians. The Fort Osage High School Band is hosting a bingo night on Friday, February 21st from 6 to 8.30 in the Commons. The cost is $5 and includes a spaghetti dinner, drink, and one bingo card. You can purchase additional cards for 50 cents each. If you want to play but not eat, the cost is $2 per person. For more details, con contact Erica Gregory at egregory at fortosage.net or Elaine Neal at e.neal, the number four, at comcast.net. Seniors, step into the current at Metropolitan Community College at Blue River on Monday, February 17th. Tours begin at 9 a.m. and will continue every hour until 3 p.m. Learn about the admission process, academic programs, financial aid, transfer opportunities, the A-plus scholarship, and other college resources. Seniors will have the opportunity to meet faculty, staff, and other students. For more information, you can pick up a flyer from the main high school office, counseling center, and the A-plus office. Follow your taxes for free, thanks to Link. Vita Certified Coaches will help you prepare your taxes online for free. Everyone with an adjusted income of less than $52,000 a year. Get help at Blue Hills Elementary School on Tuesday from 4 to 8 p.m. through March 4th. Royals fans can purchase 2014 tickets and help support Fort Osage School District students. The tickets package is worth over $600, but only costs you $39. Contact Bridget Washam for more information at bwasham at fortosage.net.
Parents of Fort Osage students are invited to the High School Media Center and on February 18th at 6 p.m. to get help with financial, financial aid for college. A representative from the Missouri Department of High, Higher Education will be on hand to provide information and uh, offer services to parents and students. Now here is this week's sports report. The varsity wrestling team traveled to Oak Grove for the Panther Classic on Saturday, on Saturday February 8th. The team finished 6th overall and was led by Jesse Jeffries' first place finish in the 138 pound weight class. Colin Divers took 2nd while Tyler Silamaya, Joshua Barnes, and Nicholas Wiley placed 3rd. The girls varsity basketball team got back on winning track on Monday, February 10th with a victory over Belton 54-31. Raven Bunn had a double-double with 14 points and 12 rebounds to lead the Indians. Asia Cole dropped in 12 points and both Paige Bunn and Sierra Glassford added 7. The girls then traveled to Ruskin to take on the Golden Eagles Wednesday, February 12th and won 57-34. Raven Bunn had 12 points, 6 rebounds and 5 assists while Asia Cole tossed in 12 points and hauled down seven rebounds to pace the Indians. Lauren Rays added eight points and three assists. The boys varsity basketball team sunk the Pirates from Belton 64 to 58 and on Tuesday, February 11th, Brian Starr led the Indians with 14 points, eight rebounds, two assists, and two steals. Skylar Thompson scored 13 points and 8 rebounds. Brandon, Brandon Hepner scored 11 points and Will Penniman and Logan Hogmo added 9. The boys team then made up a postponed game Wednesday, February 12th against the Staley Falcons. The Indians came out firing on all cylinders and knocked off the Falcons 76 to 61 to stay on top of the Suburban Middle 7 Conference. Brian Starr scored 20 points and had 6 blocks to lead the Indians while Skylar Thompson added 14 points. Logan Hugmo tossed in 11 points and Will Penniman added 10 on the night as the Indians moved to 7 and 1 in conference play and 14 and 5 overall. It was a big week for Fort Osage High School as five seniors signed their letters of intent to play at the college level. Family and friends gathered in the PAC Monday, February 10th to see Griffin Bledsoe, Nathan Iloilo, Asia Cole, and Matt Summey all sign their letters of intent. Then Trent Thompson and his family gathered in the broadcast studio on Wednesday, February 12th and witnessed him signing his letter of intent. Griffin Bledsoe started the ceremony off by signing to play football with the NAIA Benedictine College in Atchison, Kansas. KFOI's Caitlin Boatwright caught up with Griffin and found out what he is most excited about playing for the Ravens. How do you feel about signing? It's very exciting. Why? Because I get to further my, my athletic ability in education in, a, in college. Asia Cole was next on the agenda and signed to throw, shot, and discuss for the Division I University of Nebraska in Lincoln. She has been preparing to play at the next level and told KFOI's Caitlin Boatwright that she believes she will make an immediate impact with the Huskers. Um, I know for a fact I'm going to Nebraska as a shot and discus thrower. Um, they're probably going to put me in different events with the throwing. so. I'm really excited to try it out and pursue what I'm already doing right now. Then Nathan Iloilo signed to play football for Division I Illinois State in Normal, Illinois. He is ready to move on to the next level and shared his thoughts with KFOI's Caleb Winslow on what it will be like to be on the Cardinals team next fall. Uh, I'm very excited to sign at Illinois State. Um, I'm just ready to get the next step of my career going and hopefully at least to bigger and better places. Matt Summy took the stage and signed to play soccer for MCC Blue River here in Independence. 
Matt gave his insights to KFOY's Mason Murphy on what it will be like to be on the Trailblazer. It's, I'm nervous. Yeah, I know that with a, the higher level it's going to be much harder for me, but uh, I can just adjust and I'll learn. Finally, Trent Thompson signed to play baseball for Missouri Valley in Marshall. He told KFOI's broadcasting advisor, Benjamin Merthew, what he was looking to accomplish as a future Viking. What do you hope to accomplish then at Missouri Valley? Uh, well, obviously I want to get an education when I'm down there, but just keep playing baseball, keep getting better. What position do they uh, hope to see you play there? I'm going to play first base at Missouri Valley. Congratulations to all five on a great career as Indians, and we wish them the best of luck in their future. Coming up on the Indian sports calendar, the Varsity Wrestling Squad begins district competition Saturday, February 15th at Blue Spring South High School starting at 7 a.m. The girls varsity and JV team will host Oak Park on Monday, February 17th. The JV game starts at 5.30 and the varsity tips off against the Northmen at 7. If you have Fort Osage news and information you would like to share on KFOI Weekly News, let us know. Contact Broadcasting Advisor Benjamin Merthew at bmerthew at fortosage.net or Fort Osage District PR Director Stephanie Smith at smith at fortosage.net. That's all we have for you this week. Have a great day and a fantastic weekend. Thank you for watching KFOY Weekly News on Comcast Channel 15 and AT&T U-verse Channel 99. We'll see you next time.